Now, Thomas Piketty's book, Capital in the 21st Century, has been widely discussed. So let's look at some of the issues now here together with social economist Julian Bank from the University of Duisburg-Essen. And he also blogs about inequality at verteilungsfrage.org, a blog that's worth looking at. And it's good to have you here with us today. Now, let me start uh, by mentioning one of the main themes in Piketty's book, which, of course, is inequality is growing. How big a problem is inequality, in your view, in today's world? I think uh, Thomas Piketty has written a very timely book because inequality is not only becoming an increasing problem, but it has become uh, a big problem nowadays. We can see that in the US, uh, top income shares in, in total incomes have risen sharply. And also Europe is a, is, is a continent of rising inequality in recent decades. Let, let's stick with the United States because uh, he is actually saying uh, that the inequality there has been driven by soaring salaries at the top, as you just mentioned, and not by rising income from capital. So does this mean we just have to remove uh, the fat cats and inequality is erased? Well, it's, I think it's going to be very difficult to simply erase inequality, but certainly um, taxing high incomes would help to reduce uh, uh, inequality significantly because uh, the lowering of top income tax rates has allowed the, the significant rise of top incomes. Mm -hmm. So this would certainly be a step, but um, we, should, we should also think about further measures, I think. Okay, well, like, w w taxing high incomes, that is always a very difficult topic, a very touchy one. And if you remember the 80s under Ronald Reagan, the trickle-down economy did exactly the opposite, uh, not taxing the rich too too much, too hard, because they're the ones who create jobs and that would raise the standard of living. Now, today we know that that hasn't quite worked out, but we see something similar here in Europe with the European Central Bank lowering, continuing to lower the key interest rate in order uh, to make it cheap for banks to get money in order for them to then distribute it. Is this again trickled down? Are we making the same mistake again? Well, I think uh, current monetary policy is certainly um, trying to solve this, this current crisis. But inequality um, is a long-term phenomenon. And that's one thing Piketty shows us. So um, I think if we, we, if we try to tackle inequality, we must uh, dig deeper and, and try to find uh, key, um, key reasons. And one, one important aspect, uh, tax havens. There's a lot of money uh, being parked in tax havens where wealthy uh, have, have their money without being taxed. Um, estimates say that we have around uh, 4 uh, trillion uh, euros, mm -hmm. which is 4,000 4, billion euros. It's, it's a large amount of money. And taking this money to, to try to finance public services and to also um, restore public households uh, would be a very important step, which would tackle inequality at the same time. Now, there's this old saying, wealth begets wealth. Uh, and even uh, Piketty somehow quotes it in a way. It sounds like we don't have a choice, despite all the things you just said. Well, uh, Piketty shows that if we do not act, uh, there are uh, automatic mechanisms increasing inequality from generation to generation. Uh, and the other thing Piketty shows, that democracy is always uh, a means to change those things. So it's really uh, up to us to make political choices okay. and to change paradigms. And that's where you came from, uh, Ronald Reagan and trickle down economics. Uh, maybe we should rethink those paradigms of okay. deregulation. It's, it's certainly a lot uh, food, uh, food for thought there, Yuelen Bank. Absolutely. Thank you very much for joining us today.